tuning in. This is going to be a review of the MAC Studio Fix um, Foundation. Right here. And this was, I think, about $34 or $36. Um, I don't know what the price would be in your area, but I'm curious to know. So please leave a comment about that. Like, I feel it's kind of steep, if you ask me. So, yeah. I'm an NC40. And, um... I got this foundation because the I had been doing like research on YouTube about what matte foundation should I try, and I do have like combination, but mostly leaning towards oily skin, but like combination sometimes. So the lady at the counter suggested um, this matte studio thing, and um, I'll swatch it for you. I don't know if it'll even show up. And it's like a medium to full coverage foundation. There you go. I don't know if you can see. And it's um it's very much like a powder, you know. Um. So my review on this is I have been wearing it for a while now, and it doesn't um it doesn't my cats are like crazy right now. They're so hyper. So it doesn't break me out, thank God, because so many foundations do. And um, I like the ease of applying it. Like I don't like dealing with liquids and stuff, so this is really easy and fast for me. The texture is very like smooth and silky, just like a regular powder. So I like the coverage it gives and you know the the tone matches my skin perfectly. Well, the only complaint I have about this is it makes me into a total grease ball. Like, okay, if I apply primer on my face first and then put this on, then I'm straight. It'll be good. I won't have to worry about becoming greasy after like three or four hours. But, you know, of course there are times when like people are busy and I'm busy and I won't be able to put the primer on all the time. So. I have tried wearing this without the primer and oh my gosh, I turn into a grease ball so fast, just like shiny all the way. It's so annoying. So I don't think this is worth the $34 or $36 that I paid and I'm going to return it, maybe try the matte blot powder perhaps. So yeah, kind of sad, you know, I, it's just not, for me, it's not a good product just because like the application is easy but at the same time I have to put primer on or else I'll turn greasy so that's like you know that's not good for me you know it's like I don't want to wear primer all the time so or I don't have the luxury of wearing primer all the time so that sucks yeah I'm gonna try like other products and see and another MAC foundation or whatever and see what how it turns out and I have to say, like, a better alternative would be the CoverGirl Ultimate Finish. And I use number 430 Classic Beige. Okay, so this is what I prefer. And I'll swatch it for you. And I know I've spoke, spoken about this before. So, yeah, that's the Ultimate Finish. My CoverGirl. So it's a creamy, but not quite a liquid. You know, obviously, as you can see right here. So it's very creamy, creamy, and surprisingly, even though it does have a creamy texture, it does not make me greasy. So I don't have to worry, you know, when I'm out, oh my gosh, is my face oily, do I need to blot right now? So that's pretty good. And the coverage is very buildable, medium to full coverage. Amazing. I love this stuff. It's like, I think it's about $10. Very affordable. So I think it's a good dupe for the Studio Fix powder downside to this is if you look at the bottom holes or whatever the the holes they're so big that when you carry this in your purse little lint or particles or whatever little hairs that are in your purse can get in here into your the actual product 
So like you'll find like after a month or something you'll find a lot of tiny hairs or lint or whatever in your product. So the reason it kind of looks like all messed up is what I did was I sanitized like an envelope opener, like a metal envelope opener, and I just scraped the top layer off. Test it down with alcohol or if you want, that's like optional. So you kind of have to do that every month or every two months or whatever, depending how much junk you've got in your bag. So yeah, that's really annoying. Like I imagine if he smokes, like the tobacco, tiny tobacco could like get in here, I imagine. So like, that's annoying. And yeah, that's my only negative about the ultimate finish but otherwise a very good product I recommend it to you guys it does not make me greasy it doesn't make me flake it doesn't make me break out obviously before you apply something like this I think it would be a good idea to moisturize um, just so that you know it, it'll glide on better in my opinion but I don't think it's totally necessary so yeah that's my review of the studio fix powder this greased me out, so yeah, I'm gonna turn it, I'm not too happy about it, so yeah, that's it, and I hope this was helpful, if you guys have any other questions, leave a comment and I'll respond, or you can message me, that's my review of the Studio Fix Foundation for Matt, thank you for tuning in, have a great day, bye.